What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You already know what it is. Yo, it's yo. Fantastic edition of the Conceited Nobody. You already know who I am. Yeah. It's Conceited Nobody. Yeah, did, you, did you get your sexy on um, for the listeners? Hey, the, if that's how you feel about it. Keep it to yourself. No, I'm asking, is that what you're doing? No, uh, no, no. Uh, I was just trying to be fancy. Trying to be fancy. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. Like I always say, another fantastic show. Um, I'm here with my. My shooter, the number one gunner. I'm the driver. He the shooter. Better yep. watch out. Anyway, man, we back. Another uh, fantastic Tuesday. Uh, this might be the best thing going on Tuesdays. Might. Uh, this is we the best We beating tacos. Thing. We beating teddies. We beating twerks. That, yeah, yeah we killing it. Yeah. If, if, I, if I must humbly state myself. Um, before we go any further, I want to let our listeners know that we now have our app up. You can find our app, The Conceited Nobody, in the Google Play app, app Store under The Conceited Nobody. It's The Conceited Nobody, K-N-O-W-B-O-D-Y. Because we know every fucking thing. Hell yeah. Uh, damn, I'm over here shitty because I just... Oh, never mind. I thought I fucked up. Ah, okay. We will have it in the iTunes store. It's under what they, they do, some little shit where they... The podcast. Well, they, no, it's the, like the app. Ah, the iTunes store. Yeah, it's it's they some kind of going undergoing something, some kind okay. of fucking um where they look at it, check it out, whatever. Yeah, make uh, sure they got no licensed content on. I don't even the, think they do all that. They uh, do. No, they do that if you trying to sell it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's not it's under review. I don't know how I couldn't come up with under review. Yeah. It's under review right now, and it should be out within a couple of days. Maybe I was hoping today, but anyway, you you got we got our own app now, so you don't have to use the Spreaker app. You can de- yeah. delete it. Um, this way, you can go to the app. You can interact with us live, send comments, whatever. Like I said, Ask Google, questions. yeah, Google Play Store, the conceited nobody, K N O W B O D Y, the best free money you ever spend. It, it ain't going to be cool when we start charging. I Y'all know. ain't going to like it when we start charging. Uh, yeah. But anyway, what's been going on with you, though, man? Shit, nothing, you know, just getting, getting ready. It's been celebrating my birthday. Like, you know, my birthday was last Tuesday on the show. But, you know, I celebrated the rest of the week. Um, probably going to do the rest of the month. Because they say it is Sagittarius season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Queen season. Queen season. Sagi's in the building. Hey. Capric- what is it? What's this? I don't even know what the sign before it is. Is it? Oh, man. Don't give me the line. Yeah. I'll, I think what, it is Capricorn. Whatever sign before this, move over because it's. <laughs> 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 but I'll be saying that shit. I'll be, I'll be spamming niggas. Like, when I see people, like, especially as a man. Yeah. When they put that shit, I spam them. Man, you don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit you just said to me. Man. Because listen, what? man, you relapsed. You relapsed. Ah yeah, I did, I did for the hey, likes. Man, I got look, thirsty for the likes. First again. off, you shouldn't be doing enough for likes. We not in popularity contests. Our cool define itself. Yeah. I hey, usually when mother be like, "Why you doing it?" Get you my doing... DM flooded. With man, ladies. Only, only people flood your DM is motherfucking fast. Shit, you crazy. Let me show man, you listen. my DM. I I hashtag that fashionista. Hey, listen, listen, I hashtag that fashionista. Listen, <laughs> listen, my nigga Corey, he be on. Hey, he be on his hashtag thing. And he be putting up hashtags, and one of them that stands out is fashionista. And, and I clicked on it, and like I did like a search of all the men who use fashionista. It was literally a nigga holding a purse. Was it? it I swear to God. I don't I, that shit. <laughs> hey, look. So I'll be trying, like, man, listen. If you keep throwing rocks in that pool, that gay shark jump out. Jump out. Don't man. be astonished. Don't be, <laughs> don't be astonished. You got a masculine. That if you're gonna be on some. Fashion, look at me, shit. You gotta say some. Mo- you gotta put in Zoolander. Put you gotta guru. put in Zoolander. Zoolander, <laughs> real nigga, shit. I put fashion guru. Like I try to switch it out, but hey, fashion. man, listen. Uh, but when you sent me the picture of the dude with my jacket on, yeah, yeah, oh, man. He talked about he look how he likes. He got he used the hashtag fashionista. He hey he ain't used the hey, he ain't used the hashtag. He kills you on likes. Yeah, he did. Not that it's a race. I know, but he killed I, you I on don't likes. Care likes don't make me. Nigga, you just said you did it for likes. I do do it for the likes, but I give a shit unless I got one like, one million likes. One or one million. I don't care if I sold one or one million, but I think you should. Yeah, that's... If I only sold one, the outcome... But yeah, man, I went on there, and... Because, like, like, 
I say Corey, he incorrigible. He gonna do what he do, but I just can't let Corey be out here on this flimsy shit. Ah right, yeah, I'm done. I say, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm showing Corey EJ? the pictures. That urban, man, look at that shit, man. Listen, 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 listen. If y'all get a chance, go and look under the hashtag fashionista. I'm not even at the top of the shit. Like that guy. And usually, when you when my I search the hashtag that my friend posted, show me. I almost had to quit following you though. I said, man, (laughs) I'm guilty by association and shit. Like my, I'm like, man, this is my nigga, this is my shooter. They're like, he's no shooter, he's a fashionista. Yeah. Like, hey, watch your motherfucker. What, he got a pink Glock or something? <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean. Maybe uh, I'm trying to get objectified, so that's the shit. I'm trying to sue one of these bitches. You say you're trying to get objectified. So I can sue. Man, so you know what? Harassment. Like, that is a hell of a fucking plan. Like, I ain't never think about so it from once that the lawsuit money come in, the show gets bigger and better. Look, I'm at a start. I'm at a start. Just leave you alone, leaving you to your own devices, so so we can make this shit happen. That if that's sure. what we gotta do, if we gotta put you out there to get raped, then I'm willing to make that sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no Illuminati shit. Like no sacrifice. I know like, this. This is yeah. like a gang of bitches. We gonna let yeah. you get raped by Destiny's Child. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, Beyonce and uh, Kelly gonna hold you down. Michelle gonna rape you. I take. Michelle. It won't be all the way good. You take Michelle. I take. Yeah, I take Michelle. In place of like just as as a, just because. Yeah, she is just cuz, ain't she? Yeah, but like she, I mean, she kind of cute and everything. She's so. not ugly. She's not ugly. We won't go far as cute, but she's not ugly. Yeah, she's not ugly. She look homely. Like they look like they like she, like she got like, money and she's still kind of like Freeway Ricky Ross. Remember he was getting all that money. Out so you saying you saying that uh, Michelle was <laughs> like Freeway Ricky Ross? No, I'm just saying like he was getting all that money. He never changed his appearance. Like you can't tell that he bought. Yeah, you can't tell that he was making two million dollars a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's so kinda we like call that. Michelle low key. She a low key hustler. Yeah, low key uh, dope dealer. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Now Toya Luckin and the other ones. So, you know what you think about them? I probably would have handled if they were still in the group. You wouldn't hit them outside the group. I mean, how come? They just be like regular. I mean, it was already like regular chicks to me. They are regular. Yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce regular. Yeah, Beyonce. Just I, treat Beyonce I, just, I treat Beyonce like I treat the chick that played Precious. Yeah. Hey, right, now nah, I'm lying. I'm exaggerating just a little bit. Yeah. I would go places with Beyonce. But at the end of the day, man, they just women. Yeah. I mean, I don't believe in that putting women on pedestals Pedestal. based I on popularity. Mm. Based on anything really But man It's been a fantastic week man Was that all you did For your birthday Yeah it went out Shot You know I said uh-uh. What'd you do this week I actually did something I had to cover oh, a fight shit. Shout out to Saturday Live My boxing podcast If you're a fan of boxing We air Every uh, Thursday night At 8 o'clock We did a uh, Cover the local fight Down at the um, National Guard Armory on Nintendo, On Pennsylvania No we're gonna Holden uh-huh. Holden Minnesota oh, It was a nice little car same. Down there man Anytime if you ever want to do some fun shit, I'm talking about you can take your daughter. You know what I'm saying? You can take anybody. Boxing is way more friend, uh, family friendly than most people think. Yeah, Corey you like, can have a hell of a time. She liked that boxing and MMA and wrestling and shit. Like she, she like combat sports. And she like that shit more in person, man. Yeah. A lot of the atmosphere, the announcers. And things to that nature. But yeah, I, I covered a fight, man. I had a, I had a good time. Like I had I had fun. Was it a good matchup? Or just the whole ambiance, very thing. It's made the good. ambiance. It was it was an um, exciting fight. Shout out to Rakim Johnson. He uh, was a fighter who won in seven. Just got knocked out uh, last month. Damn. But he won in seven. Two and seven now. Two and seven now. Because uh, he lit a motherfucker up. I'm talking he? about Rakim. He. You remember when we used to uh, Dave Chappelle Friday Night Sissy Fights? Uh-huh. That's how he be out there flailing. That's how he be on with his bullshit. Uh-huh. But this particular night, man, this he motherfucker was sharp. I mean, he looked like a whole different fighter. Probably he, fired he, his he, first trainer. He knocked the and shout out to Jason, my boy who do the uh, boxing show. Me, he worked this corner uh-huh. first round knockout. I'm talking uh, about okay. So new trainer, new style, probably. And then just the fortitude and shit to say fuck my record. I'm still yeah. out here trying to win. Yeah, but yeah, so I had fun covering the fight, man. Uh, that's cool. That's pretty much all I did. Uh, checked out some football games. Yeah, slowly shout out to the Saints. Slowly but surely, watching the Saints come to an end. Dang, it's huh? almost over for y'all. Is it? I don't know. Uh, What's name be killing? I ain't talking about Kamari. We know he be killing. Ingram be fucking killing. Hey, whoever got him in fantasy, like. Shout what? out to Sod. My homeboy Sod be over here in a minute. That nigga hey. had Ingram and he's a loser. <laughs> Sod just got demolished this weekend by Mari. He's keeping it in the family. Did he? 
Yeah. Oh man, but yeah, the game got close. A minute left, they had the uh, Ingram ran off for fifty. Cut out, Cut out like a free slave. Yeah, like that they opened the doors of the plantation. I said, "Shit, that boy." But but like, 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 let's stay on, let's stay on football for a minute, man. Uh huh. The uh, catch or no catch? Fuck that catch. We talking about the Panthers owner. Oh, uh, Mister. Yeah, Mister. Mister. Man. Not color purple, Mister, but Django Unchained, Mister. Brutal. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's crazy because he still had the connotations of Mister from Django, Mister yeah, from Color yeah, Purple. He still yeah. was some slave shit, and he told him, "Don't call me shit. Mister Richardson. Just drop the Richardson. He call me Mister." Man, listen. If y'all not familiar with, if y'all don't keep up with, um, first off, and I didn't see that uh, Steelers and pass catch. Who caught? Okay, we get it. okay. Yeah. Cause I, I don't want to alienate our female fan base talking about too much sports. Yeah, but this is kind of a social, uh, a social topic. The uh, Carolina Panthers owner, what's the name, Jerry Richardson? Yeah, Jerry Richardson. Jerry Richardson. He's being forced to sell his team. He judged in front of God. He they even let him. He didn't get to the point where they say you had they ain't Donald Sterling him. He's just like you know what? At the end of the year, I'm selling my team. Like he's jumping because once the NFL said we got an investigation. He came out the next day said, I'm going to sell my team. He going to sell his team. It was fucked up to me. Yeah. I mean, he said they said he had some allegations of uh, <laughs> sexual, misconduct. sexual harassment and racial slurs. Mm-hmm. They like they said he had, they had allegations. I don't know. They same time period from what it's still from. They said pretty from like the time he owned the team to probably as recent as cause they say he just paid off some people yeah. probably recently but they had one thing that I found funny well not funny what stuck out to me on Gene Friday you know wait a minute hold Friday was Gene's day when most staffers at the Carolina Panthers team office would wear denim to work <laughs> turn around let me see that <laughs> <laughs> the female employees knew what that meant yeah. As the team's owner Jerry Richardson made his around made his rounds on the way to his spacious office, he would ask women to turn around so he could admire their backsides. Damn, baby, got that fat old ass in the <laughs> Then, in his rolling southern drawl, he'd offer comment, drawing from the sewer of one liners he recycled each week. Among those were the heaviest rotation, and the heaviest rotation were. Show me how you wiggle to get those jeans up. Oh. <laughs> I bet you had to lay down on your bed so I to fit in those jeans. That did, you just step in, on, did you step in, into those jeans or did you have to jump into them? That is some uh, player shit. Yeah. Listen. I done asked a chick that before. Amid all, amidst all the allegations, what we will not do is get up here and start hating on his clever wordplay. When he's out here trying to finesse these bitches, it's in the almost office. a question like, like, how did you get those jeans on? I mean, did you step into them? Did you have to jump? Clearly, into he's them? a fan of genuine. Yeah, or genuine's a fan of his. Yeah, because he's older. Who was first the chicken or the egg? We don't know. Yeah, we do not know. Continuing, mm-hmm. Richard's conduct was treated at some time a running office joke, according to multiple former Panther teams, team employees, all of whom on the condition of anonymity. Out of fear of retaliation, male employees would knowingly ask the women whether the Carolina owner had noticed them that day. Women subjected to Richardson's comment would often dismiss him with a sheepy wave of the hand. No one ever said anything, at least not that I heard, <laughs> says one uh, former Panthers employee. He's he was like the, the boss. boss. It was viewed more of a creepy old man than a threat. But, I mean, you know what? I, I, I think I'm about to start paraphrasing because this yeah. is a real article. Listen. What we said. Richard since 81 has been slow. They, they got to throw the, symp- the uh, sympathize and shit. Kind of old. Yeah. Richard's 81 has been slowed by a 2009 heart transplant. But he's still ticking. He still got the gumption to go out there and try to so get some of that so strange. He had a good heart before the heart transplant. This ain't even him. They put a bad heart in him. He's really a good dude. Wait a minute. I ain't even thinking about it. Yeah. You know what? He was a good dude to the heart transplant. He need to. We need to revisit this. We need to see like who who was the had, doctor on who the had that heart before he had. Yeah, it. like was that the heart that belonged in a sick motherfucker? Was he on the list? Because I need to know if he was sexually harassing bitches, yeah. allegedly sexually harassing bitches, before he had that heart transplant. Yeah. Uh, Fries with that shake. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get into those Janice man. But like man It's what I don't understand And I don't know if I said it last don't week Don't forget he offers services too We gotta mention that to the list What service he off- offer um, Would you Would you mind if 
thigh, shave your legs, so you need your foot rub. Like he was offering services to so like. So it I, ain't like he was just being an asshole. Yeah, he just he wanted like, some pussy. Yeah, he was he was like, like, hey, work for you it. know, he was like, you know, you need me to shave your legs for you. Can I rub your feet? Like you know, you been standing on your feet all day. Would you like me to rub your feet? I mean, you know, just ask me questions. Jerry's 81 years old, so it's obvious that he's been doing this for a long time. Long time. So, what I don't like about all of this, like from Weinstein to Jerry to Tavis Smiley, who we'll talk about Next. a little bit later, I don't like this this assault. Like, even, like, they betraying these it's women. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's out of control. Like, I don't, like... How do you define a victim in this situation? Like, what? Like, what is? I'm trying to figure the words. I'm trying to say, like, what? When? Like, what's the statute of limitations on this? That's shit? why I would. I always said. I always felt like, and me and this guy, uh, I was mailing off a package Friday. Uh, somebody brought some shoes, so we had a conversation, and I was like, "When is the statute of limitations of chicks to say he harassed me? Like, if you don't, if you don't." Foul it when it happened. Maybe two days after that, you can't be waiting years later and shit. And then you know, like, and be like, ah, oh, he harassed me in '78, right? And shit like that. And so the like I told the guy, like I think it need to be some type of monetary payment that these women pay or something. He's like, oh no. Nah. I said, you know, and I asked the guy. He like, you know, you shouldn't charge women to foul cases or nothing. That's the only put like this. I said, have you ever been on the other side of the jail cell and everything because a woman has lied on you? He said, nah. I said, well, I have twice. And what they do in this investigation, what all a woman got to do is get an accusation. No investigation. So now you're in jail. You got paid this high ass bond. And then once they figure out she lied or the case gets dismissed, you know, on lie or whatever, they just say, ah, oh, my bad. Like, if you start charging women to file these cases, the ones that really need the help that really out there that was victimized would try to go forward with it. But, like, the prosecution low motto is we don't prosecute the ones who lie because it would deter the ones that's really victims from coming forward. I, I don't think that it should be a fee to charge because that would deter less fortunate women. Then, rich, pe- rich, people, like, rich people will have more of a, like, I can do this to poor people all the time. Or it becomes be like, economical. What I'm saying is, like, tell them, put the sign up, we charge you for this case. And if a woman be like, damn, how I'm going to get this money? She may really need the help. And you're like, you know what? It ain't really no fee. We just return the Psych her out. Yeah. Psych a lot. Yeah, psych like a lot. So, you know, just to get the ones that's. Not. I don't even think that's necessary. I think that once it's found out, like we discussed before, once it's found out that the accusation is not true, I think they should face jail time. Yeah, they definitely should. And they should, like, they should they say that. Uh, in like, the paper, like the dudes' names in the paper, like, if who they, all these anonymous women? If they make, if they, like, put, like, right now, we, we got a law, if you out here lying about sexual abuse, sexual harassment or anything, uh, for just being vindictive or financial gain or anything of the sort, you face jail time, mandatory sentence. Yeah, like it's not even three years off. It's not even, bitch. I don't want her to get probation. Yeah. I don't want her to get house, house arrest. arrest. Yeah. No, no work I don't want her sitting in there eating them bologna sandwiches. Cause that's what the guy's gonna get. Yeah. So you gotta be, uh, like it's it's sad that women are subject to rape, but I don't think that men and women should work in the same place. I was just talking to my buddy about this earlier. It's always a sexual dynamic between men and women that yeah. exists whenever they work together. I mean, not everybody tries to have sex with somebody at work, but it's the potential is there. Yeah, it happens. There's no reason for men and women to work together. Like, there's no reason. This all comes about when uh, women want the equality and stuff where you shouldn't want equality. You can go be separate. Do your own thing. You don't... A woman should not measure their success by a man's success. Mm-hmm. That's just like... You You right there putting yourself in a in a, in a box. Like, who wants... Why, what's the accomplishment of being the first woman to build a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Men do what I can do. What? I'm the first woman to ever climb Mount Everest. Okay, bitch. Yeah. yeah what? Eh? Like, I don't think men and women should work together because you always going to have some sort of hierarchy. Some Because it's a natural feeling. It's a na- it's natural for a man to be on top of a woman in every sense of the word. That was a double on time. Yeah, I see that. But, so if you don't want, if you don't want that... Uh, Bars. That, 
if you don't want that situation, man, you got to be realistic. Men are always going to try to have sex with women at some point. And because um, if you round them all today, the naturally some type of sexual attention or like you know you may get to like it or more often than not. Like for lack of better terms, like you know you seeing her every day. Like damn, you know, Stacy kind of kind of all right. I think Jane Fridays like she ain't wearing. Like the normal jeans. Like I wonder she, if he jumped in those. Yeah, I wonder, you know what I'm saying? Can I get some fries with that shake, Stacy? Like, that. Yeah. Did you lay on your bed to put up? Matter of fact, you've been working all day. Do you need your feet rubbed? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How are the legs going to shave them? Yeah. But the thing with that is, though, man, like, <clears throat> people don't hear the turn that men going to be men, but the facts are the fact. Men are going to be men unless you use situations like this to emasculate men. Yeah. Now you got men sitting over there shivering and shaking and trembling because they can't be men. Yeah. They scared to make eye contact with women. It creates oh. a, a situation where the women have the power. Now you socially awkward at work. They be like, damn, you creep. He don't even look up at nobody or nothing. Like, he just trying to save his job. Like, everything is meant to call. I'm telling you, man, like, it seems simple on the surface, but what it is, it's trying to, what they talk about, a genderless society where they don't uh, have gender yeah. roles. Yeah. This, this, this <clears throat> elitist society, they don't want. A man dominated society And that's why they venerate women so much And treat women like goddesses mm-hmm. And they put women on a pedestal It's to break down the gender role Where gender roles are necessary You need men to lead, hunt, save And protect and You need women to nurture and offer reason In certain situations mm-hmm. And Without these roles man it, it's, it's crazy because it, the, the world gets mixed up Do you see who tossed their name in the hat As far as trying to buy the Panthers If you do sell I saw P. Diddy. I yeah. saw. Uh, I saw. Uh, said they got a group together. P. Diddy. So Steph Curry said he'll pull this money with P. Diddy. Kaepernick, Gonzo, your 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 homeboy, Mr. Dashiki. Mr. Dashiki said he done throwing some money to uh, become an owner. But what's so crazy in the mess of Richardson going through this? You know who spoke up for him? Who? Jerry Jones. Spoke up for who? Richardson. He said, man, it's going to be a sad day to see this man have to sell his friend. Team. Yeah, it's his friend. You're supposed to go for your friend. Yeah. And that ain't nothing new. Like, I don't think nothing new with that. It's your everybody friend. Everybody else left him out to drive. They like, man, like, shit, that's, that's, on, that's on Rich. You like, know, I don't man. like. I don't understand. Like, if, like, like, is that something to be vilified for him standing up for his friend? No, no, I'm just saying, like, out of all, because they all friends at the end of the day. It's, uh, and they call it the boys club. Them motherfuckers don't like Jerry, because that's that, all, man. It's they, something about Jerry and that uh, shit with, um, what's your boy name? Yeah. Yeah. And the extension, yeah. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, Richardson stuck by him. Uh, Jerry, we was going through all that. So, I mean, you got to, if he going to take up for me during that time, and take up for you. And I was I just felt like, damn, how the other dudes are just like, man, I don't, like, shit, that's, that's just rich. I ain't fuck with Jerry. Like, yo, it's sad to, to see this man to sell a team. Even with going back to the Donald Sterling, he was forced to sell his team because the side piece illegally recorded him. That was fucked up. But yeah. when, if, if you don't see, if people don't see the agenda behind this, because yeah. it's, it's, no, it's, it's no coincidence that women are jumping out. It's someone coercing them to doing these things and mm-hmm. talking about it. Uh, hey, 20 years ago when you was fucking with, uh, like, let's get, get into Tavis Smiley. Yeah, oh, man. Anybody know Tavis Smiley? He's actually from Indiana. Shout out to Tavis. Uh, IU Kelly School of Business graduate. Where are you from exactly? I don't know, but he went to IU, got a Kelly School of Business. I you degree. Shout out to Tavis Spanley. He was he just fired from TVS. TBS. I said TVS. TBS. Damn, I don't hear making a station. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TBS is a no, I said station. TVS. Uh, TV, uh, I like, yeah, but he just TV. got fired from PBS, which I don't know well, what the fuck he did. Well, to pay determination to the outcome of the investigation. Yeah. Uh, they were secretly investigating him till he, he found would, out. Let's, talk, let's tell the story. Huh? Let's tell the story. Uh, uh, Tavis Smiley was... Uh, you got the article? Nah. We already lacking. Yeah. Hey, you you said this how they say in Chicago? Yeah, lacking. Yeah, catch that boy lacking. Yeah. Tavis Smiley was under investigation. Uh, some former employee said that he sexually harassed him or did some bullshit. Tavis Smiley was dating employees in their head. Hold yeah. on. Tavis Smiley did exactly what he was supposed to do, and he jumped out here, and he's defending himself. Yeah. He's not. He's from Bunker Hill, Indiana. Wherever the he was born in Gulfport, Mississippi, born, grew up in Bunker Hill. But anyway, Tavis Smiley, man, he's getting out in front of it. Uh, he's denying all charges. The only thing he's guilty of is in, in his uh, words is, well, not his words, I'm paraphrasing, yeah. but fucking. 
Yeah, fuck you. The right? only thing I, he's I guilty of co-workers. And, 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 he, and they asked him and stuff, well, why are you dating employees? He said, where else am I going to meet them? Yeah, yeah exactly. Where else am I going to meet them? Like, that goes back to what I just said. Like, you're around the person long enough. It yeah. may be, you know, it's like, damn, like I said, she looked kind of cute. And that's exactly what it's like, man. Because yeah. when do you tell men and women to stop feeling like men and women? Yeah. Like, how do you regulate dating? Like, you don't want a situation where a man's blackmailing a woman, you come around here and suck my dick, or you're fired. Yeah. That's that's a total, uh, you know what I'm saying, disrespect to her, and that's disrespecting the rules or what you uh, perceive as the rules of the company. But if we just out here, we sit next to each other every single day, we figure out we like the same things, yeah. uh, you constantly alluding to me and insinuating what your mouth does, Boy. I'm going to start going out to lunch with you, then you're going to become lunch. Yeah, it's just yeah. the natural dynamics of a man it's and woman relationship. It's nature. So they trying to play Travis Smelly, the sexual predator, like he's out here preying on women. I'm gonna tell you, man. They talk about how smart and intelligent women are, but as soon as it comes to something to this sort, women turn into incredible mindless victims. But that's why I say like they don't did, understand like, what the fuck is equal. Did is I'm inferior. I'm a woman. Yeah. Like which struggle do you? Which one you gonna pick? Do you yeah. want to be equal or do you want to be inferior? And that, and like what what, what am I to do as a man? Yeah. And I know I say I this these are situations that I would never be in. Yeah. And people say never say never, but I know me. Yeah. I'm not gonna be out here being a weirdo. You come around the corner of the cubicle and shit. And I got my dick hanging out in my hand. Yeah, I ain't gonna do nothing. You like know what I'm saying? And, and even those who do do that, even men who do do that, uh-huh. I'm sure they have some kind of rapport with the women that led them to feel comfortable doing they that. They're going to have an after five drinks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After work, go have a, uh, a evening cocktail, as they call it. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got your after five dress on this you night. You know no what do you want to go out for drinks, man? Yeah. You know what do you want to go out for drinks, man? You uh, can't you know play I can't handle my liquor, so you might have to give me a ride home, Corey. Yeah, oh, am I? Okay. And then it's not like Sir, give her the cheap vodka It's stronger <laughs> <laughs> Then it's not like You woke up And then called the police You yeah. came to work The next day Smiling And all over me I'm like Bitch, what are you doing? Get off me And you got mad And in public And you that, got that mad public. After yeah. she let her fuck Probably yeah. a couple more times it, That wasn't no one time thing and To go back to the Richardson like, What if it was a chick That did get noticed By the owner That turned them in what you mean? Like, you know, he was tell- talking to all the chicks in the jeans, and there was probably that one chick, probably that had no fat ass or nothing. He just kept walking past her. Excuse me, SpongeBob. Get out the way. Let me go talk to her over here. And she might have been the one that told. It could uh, happen like that. I mean, jealousy, the jealousy has a tendency to break things apart. But what I don't like about that whole um, Panthers owner situation is how they make him, or not even making him, because he didn't resign just he wanted to. He was, I'm sure it was some kind of. Force, you yeah, know what I'm saying? So probably where they like, put hey, the pressure man, on him. Just got uh, here and start pressing the team, and you know we we take care of you. Got your nice severance package. Man, listen, I'm all about fairness, no matter what. Yeah, me too. I, I'm about fairness, no matter. I like when we win, even if it's unfair. Mm-hmm. But if you ask me, just from a moral standpoint, I think everybody should get due process. Yeah. And that's how I got my notice. This is like some financial shit. Cause nobody's safe, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, they firing when it comes to uh, it's not even like for the investigation before any type of conclusion or anything. Once the accusation come out, hey, resign. Uh, we got suspend you, pending termination. Like Russell got to had to leave five companies. Tavis is out of PBS. Who? Matt Lyre. Russell. Russell. Uh, Simmons. Oh yeah, yeah. He had to leave. You no know, five companies. Tavis Smiley suspended pen investigation. Matt Lyre, they got him up out of there quick. Like it. So as the accusation come out, they don't even care if it's true or not. Because what they they got to get out in front of it. They got to get out. You in don't front want of it. uh some goofy bitch rallying them bitches online talking about let's sign this petition on this boycott. You yeah. can't afford to lose corporate sponsors. So it's a chain reaction. We got to get out in front of it. It all boils down to money. Money, yeah. So they can't they can't allow these men because they already perceive us as ogres who don't, you know what I'm saying, who just want to sexually abuse. So you think and they, they even coined the goofy phrase rape culture. What is rape culture? That yeah, that's, that's just some clever shit to say on a hashtag, some shit to draw attention. I've had a guy say, what do you think about the rape culture? I'm like, what is the rape culture? Yeah, like, I just sit down and think, fundamentally break down the... Etymology of the two words you're saying, rape culture. We know rape means to forcibly take 
pussy. So, yeah. Culture is like what it was going on, what's normal uh, amongst a group of people. Yeah, Where uh, in a group of people are we seeing consistent people getting fucked against their will? Yeah. I, don't, I, don't I mean, <laughs> it's, it's easy to sell because the liberal media get to push these agendas and these ideas. And when you constantly see these things, when you constantly hear them, you start adapting these words into your everyday lingo. Mm-hmm. And you talking and you just with, with no knowledge of what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy as hell to me. So basically, the companies would rather pay a lawsuit from one person than lose a billion of corporate fine. Like once they find out it's not true, and now the people that's been fired wrongfully, well, we could give them twenty million, thirty million, pay that off the lawsuit instead of losing billions from. But it ain't so many people who get found wrong, like wrongful termination, because everybody tucking their tail between their legs and running. Yeah, Tavis Smiley, like as far as I can think, he's the only person who's standing up against these allegations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As he fucking should. You know what I'm saying? Tavis Mallow, he's always given the impression to me that he's somewhat of his own man, where he don't seem bought. Well, I'm sure he's some boule. I'm sure he's part of a free And he just system. read up. Like, he just signed, like, a 10 year extension or some shit. And, and, and in a situation this like this, they still got to get paid. Yeah, they still you know get paid. You still yeah, going to pay me, but I'm glad he's not a person who's just worried about it. Like, money. He's willing to, you know what I'm saying, stand up for himself and. Yeah. I do you like know the what I'm saying? your fucking everything. name. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This your name. You don't want this attached to you. You don't want people calling you a rapist. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So it's, it's sad across the board, man. And that's and why it I told to the guy people. at FedEx. I was like, look, that's at the end of the day, I didn't do it. He's like, but, you know, we got to be, you know what I'm saying, more catered to the women. I said, nah, we should just be catered to what's right. What do you mean about that, though? I, 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 I just, just shit my package. Like, <laughs> that's just shit my package Like you know And he's like Nah nah You not understand To do Like I said Till you be on the other side of it Or fully Do a deep dive in it Like I'm not saying Like I, any victim That's a victim You know what I'm saying My heart goes out And shit's wrong Anybody that's not a victim I'm not Like my just, heart ain't going out You got smacked in your ass Or he told you Hey you I'm got fat ass like raping or anything Who get raped than, like, I'm, It's crazy Like we got enough <laughs> issues In our community Amongst our culture And shit to be Sitting around watching TMZ to see what white lady got sex harassed 25 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more... I'm, but it's a good story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a good story and Get shit. Get your up for your website. Yeah, you know? but when we strip that shit down to the corn shit, man, I hope I, I hope all these men beat the case. Mm, That's how I feel. Thing. But uh, <laughs> jumping from one sport to another one, talking about football, man. I do not understand how you was on your high level slander and hate last night. Oh, I do man. not fucking understand. Listen, trolling. this is what is wrong with niggas. Kobe, Bean Bryant, one of the best NBA basketball players ever. The second best two guard ever behind only the greatest player ever, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Had his jersey retired last night. Yeah, two night. jerseys. Not just one, two numbers. Two numbers retired last night. A stellar career second all-time scorer. Uh, five championship rings, numerous All Star games, numerous other accolades and awards. They celebrate his jersey getting retired. He with his family, and all Corey's online is doing last night is hating. He even get into the emotional hate where he says shit like LeBron ain't got no rape. Nah, well, see, here's what it was. <laughs> Somebody, like, I was like, damn, boy, you standing for Kobe Bryant? So he sent some shots at me, like, oh, you don't, you don't know basketball, man. Like, first of all, he like, ah, Kobe, Kobe ain't lost in the finals like LeBron. So, I, that's why I put up Darko Millick. Like, no, he lost to a team with this nigga on there. And the Celtics beat him. Game six was in. He said LA. Kobe had never lost in the finals. So, that, so yeah. I, I was like, no, you're wrong. I said, and they got the biggest loss in finals history, 136-96 to 96, to Boston. Oh, uh, well, uh, Kobe had never played with no all-star like LeBron in the finals. I said, he had the most dominant big man ever in history. He said that? Yeah, I like, dude, you just... I said, I understand, like, there's a difference in... Like, I told you, I said, don't get that I don't like Kobe Bryant. I think he's the second best... Like, everything you said, I I always say he's the second best shooting guard ever behind Michael Jordan, who was the greatest player of all time. I was like, but don't give him, like, he just... I said, I, I said the difference between LeBron and Kobe is... Kobe has never in his playing career never made his team better. He like had made his team better. They brought people in that win to help him win championship. They brought Shaq in, he won. Shaq left, he didn't win. They came they in together. Him. him and Shaq came in together. No, no. Kobe him was, and, no, they came they both came in nineteen ninety seven. No, Kobe they came was at LA first. Then they yeah, brought Shaq. Shaq to, came in in the free agent Kobe's rookie year. 
Kobe never played on a team without Shaq uh, as a young man. Kobe came in. Shaq was the free agent that same year. Listen, I'm a Laker fan. I see. You ain't I know you will. tell me that shit. He, they came in the same year. You can look that shit up. Kobe won in who? Kobe won in L.A. without Shaq. Lakers team '97. Kobe came in in '96. '96. Shaq came after that. I hate to be wrong in that situation. I know because Shaq definitely came after '96. Nineteen ninety six. I came in ninety six. Don't fuck it. Ninety I don't talk that shit, nigga. I'm a Laker fan. I kind of got nervous and shit because I started trying to think about it. Cause I thought they came the same year. Well, well, fortunately, you don't get paid to think. Yeah. So anyway, back to my point. The dude was like, Kobe never played with nobody that was dominant the same way. Brian had played with Dwayne Wade and everything. Like, and Dwayne Wade was just out winning championships. I said, Well, Kobe played with Shaq. Probably the probably. Me and my buddy had a conversation about this going back for who was the best duo ever. Like I go back and forth between Jordan and Pippen or Kobe and Shaq. I was like, you know, shit, Jordan and Pippen six and zero, oh, but Kobe and Shaq lost together. But Kobe and Shaq both went off and won championships about each other. Jordan never won to Pippen got there, and when he left, like he never won again. And Pippen never won again. So I go back and forth, and he was like, oh. Look at what Wade was doing. I said, well, first of all, Wade was barely making the playoffs. The Shaq came there. They got championship. Now, granted, Wade did go off in those finals. He killed. But as soon as Shaq left, where was the Miami Heat at? Wait a minute, barely though. Even- Shaq, he got a fucking diminished Shaq. He didn't have the same Shaq that was fucking dominating. He I mean, had he the same Shaq that was dominating. I mean, yeah, that's a whole different Shaq he, than Dwayne Shaq Wade was playing with. Shaq averaged 20 during the regular season. And 20 Dwayne, during the, Dwayne, and Dwayne, 20 during Dwayne, the playoff and 13.9. Dwayne the Wade finals. was the go-to man on that team. Okay, and after Shaq left and Dwayne Wade was the go-to man, what happened? Who did he have? Who did LeBron have the first time he went to the finals in Cleveland? He came for that weak ass Eastern Conference. Now it's a weak ass. Like, it was a weak ass. Changed the goal line. Changed the goal line. It, it, historically, it was a weak ass East. It was only one really good team and shit. Uh, Boston was Boston, just coming together. Boston was still good because they were stopping LeBron. And what, Detroit was decent. Detroit was decent. We talking about, but Detroit we, beat we, Lakers we, in the finals. We talking about those that was, that was a different Detroit team than LeBron beat. Come on, man. It was a Rip Hamilton team that beat the Lakers. The only thing different was what? Chauncey Bills went on that team? No, it was a year later. People had age and injuries had factored in. So you say that about Jordan. What about him? No, I don't say shit about Jordan. No, I'm just saying. Jordan never beat uh, the the age, uh, the Pistons age, the Boston age. Because you remember, Jordan was getting put out in the first round. Isaiah Thomas was 32 when he retired. So he didn't beat no age Detroit team. Larry Bird was in his early thirties when he retired. Jordan like, beat team. Jordan beat the Pistons, who had all stars and Hall of Famers on their teams. But what was the age Hold of all stars and Hall of Famers? Up. Dennis Rodman ended up playing for years with Jordan. After that, Joe Dumars played for at least seven years. After that, Isaiah Thomas played for a few years. So his back fucked up. Come on, man! You the one trying to move the goal line right now. Uh, now I'm trying to move. Hell the goal yeah! Line. These people: Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman. Bill ain't beer French, but those were Hall of Famers on that Detroit team. Boston, Larry Bird, Robert Pierce, Dennis Johnson, Kevin McHale. These are Hall of Famers on that team. And then you throw Mark McGuire on that Detroit. On that Detroit. The bench, the but fuck, fuck that Jordan shit, Vinny. Yeah. Get back to this Kobe shit. I tell people this all the time. LeBron James has played with more Hall of Fame players than Kobe Bryant has that were in their prime or close to their prime. LeBron, Kobe Bryant has never left the team. It's logical to be on the team and ask for you to bring in people to help you. But or he, trade me but the what ball. The fuck, trade me what the fuck, give me some help. What the fuck had Pau Gasol <clears throat> did before he played with Kobe? How many rings had he had? What the fuck was Andrew Bynum before he had Kobe on his team? What was he after that? Andrew Bynum got drafted by the Lakers. I said, what was he after that? Kobe Bryant he got hurt. Kobe Kobe, Andrew Perkins took him out. People get hurt. Kobe no, Bryant no, had Andrew Bynum as arguably the best center in the league, which I was telling yeah. people at the time that Andrew Bynum was better than Dwight Howard. Yeah, I'm saying that too. But man, you can't downplay Kobe. Uh. At a time where a big man was the, before this open D and three, like when you had to have a big dominant center and all like that, Kobe had that. Everybody Bryant, had bigs. Bryant, El Gaskis, so that was his dominant big. Danielle Marshall, okay. Drew Gooden. Like, look at this team. Look at the, the first team LeBron took to the finals. Now, I'm not even talking about that stacked Miami team with. What happened when they got to the, the finals? 
They got They got eviscerated. They got eviscerated. So I don't. Nah, for, I don't care about. Okay, they beat some better teams on the way there. If you nah, talk, nah, if, nah, hold nah, on. Nah, if you were just talking, nah, nah, week hold on. That's I, what you just said. I dude. said that team was weak. The East was weak. I didn't say that Cleveland had the best team in the East. They didn't I, have the best team. Yes, the fuck they. Who uh, Cleveland? Damn sure they had the best team. That's what I just said. Uh, I was saying, they, they so they the beat team. a team that was better than them. So you can't use the San Antonio was a better team type argument. Was, was that the Cleveland roster better than that fucking Boston roster? Keep it a buck. The one that they beat. Keep it a buck. The first. Keep did it a buck. Did they beat and Boston that year on the way? I thought they beat Orlando. If they Detroit, won better than them. Somebody else. They won better than Orlando. Was, the Dwight uh, They won better than Dwight, Rashard Lewis, all them. Prime Jabir Nelson. Listen, the thing is like this. So is Kobe it, a better player than LeBron? I think so. Think if so? I was choosing, I'd take Kobe over LeBron. I would. I would. I would. Why would you? What would you take LeBron for to facilitate? Because LeBron would make the whole team. He can't. Kobe just how, how, how? Kobe just how? how, how <clears throat> that, the LeBron made people better is the most overrated argument I ever heard in my life. Who has LeBron made better? Josh Smith still trash. Fucking Della Dover was trash. Who? I'm not talking about players who are already stars. Kevin Kevin Love was a fucking superstar. LeBron's taking LeBron. Team, LeBron, LeBron on the LeBron, weak LeBron, team. LeBron is taking away from Kevin Love's game. He didn't make Dwayne way better. He had to defer to Dwayne Wade in clutch. He didn't make Chris Bosh better. Who has he made better? Bosh was a star. Who has he made better? It's easy to Who be a has, star. No, 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 no. He, Fuck Bosh. Who has he made better? J.R. Smith. He didn't make J.R. J.R. Smith Dover. been worse since he got De- there. Della Dover. Dover been worse since he got Look with LeBron. Look at the statistics. The stats. Man. The stats. Like, statistically better. LeBron is better than Kobe across the board. And then he elevated Man, everybody numbers, else's game. Numbers lie. Now numbers lie. Number, hell yeah, they lie. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, they like because they don't tell LeBron can't he can't win a game. You can't get LeBron a game in five minutes left. It depends on who wins because he misses he, layups. He scores seventy straight points. You talking about some shit that happened ten years well, ago? It don't matter. You just said he can't you do said, it. I'm talking did. about consistently on a consistent level. We saw in the so final. Kobe had we saw in the finals against Golden State two years ago when LeBron and won. He could not put him away. He had to defer to Kyrie to turn, take over the game. Be Mister Clutch. LeBron that isolated so, LeBron five straight fucking times. He missed the layup each. Fucking time. LeBron is a phenomenal player, but you know what? Historically, he might even be the second best great. He might be the second best small forward there. Behind Pippen. Hell no. Pippen ain't in like fucking Okay, pro. so let's Larry talk Bird. about Bird. Let's talk about uh Kobe game two through four against Philly when he was deferring to Shaq. That's that's Shaq. Shaq. That's 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 Shaq. Shaq. Come on, man. Stop hold on, hold on, hold on. See, that's what I'm saying. You just said, you just said that Shaq the most dominant big ever. You want to fucking use Shaq in comparison to a fucking Kyrie Irving as who you deferring to? LeBron, 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 guard, LeBron yeah. draw in the clutch. Kyrie LeBron, probably the best point guard in the league. In the time. No, he not. No, he not. Who's the better he point be, guard? He the best scoring point guard. Who the? Who, he the best. Uh, he, 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 he the best scorer. He not even better than fucking Chris Paul. Kyrie's not better than Chris Paul. Kyrie's not better than John Wall. I think John Wall is just faster. John Wall's better. He Kyrie does more. Better shot. John Wall make players better. John Wall plays defense. John Wall. Kyrie play defense. No, the fuck he don't. Okay. No, the fuck he don't. Oh, he man. ain't better than Curry. Fuck that. We what? Curry. Curry never don't play defense. Yes, they try to hide the nigga. Curry, Curry. He was had... forced to play defense. Hold on. When Curry and them B came back and beat, uh, beat <laughs> the Thunder, Curry down there had the clamps on Westbrook. Curry down there had the clamps on Westbrook. Or was KD out there fucking up? No. Curry down there had the clamps on Westbrook. Or was KD out asked, there fucking up? When they asked, when they asked Westbrook in, in the uh, interview about Curry did him up, he laughed it off like, nah, he ain't, but he had his ass on lock. So what about it? I guess KD was fucking cut. He wasn't even the star on that team. KD supposed to be the man. He ran to the corner. As I say LeBron did in the finals to defer. LeBron, KD, LeBron, LeBron ran to the corner. LeBron panics. LeBron panics. He don't have a heart of a killer. He's not a killer. I, he, ne- I never LeBron, LeBron, LeBron is a, a beta. Killer. LeBron is beta. And that's why I'm not taking a beta I, man in the finals. Because you prefer if I, if alpha. You just all alpha across the way. But yeah. Just because you can score a bunch of points. I mean, don't, I mean what has that? You underrated Kobe Bryant at least ever six rebounds and four assists for his career. So we're not going to act like he was out there Vince Carter. We gonna act like Kobe Bryant was a complete player and a defender, where he was on all defensive teams. Where Kobe Bryant could guard. The, Kobe, he, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryant never shot here. This Kobe Bryant never shot side away from guarding the other team's best player. LeBron James cannot do that. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. What, LeBron James he get out there. Yeah. LeBron James get out there and guard Kevin Durant. He's getting demolished. He cannot play enough. He cannot so he didn't play guard Kevin Durant in the finals. Got demolished. Got, then they tried. Hey, Draymond Green. I 
Andre is in Dallas. Yes, get that out of here. That, that's the start. In, uh, all you needed was a small four. Then they tried to get Carmelo. Then they brought in Ray Allen. Allen. Oh. Jordan the team that got Steph. Then, then they got, and they found something was kind of weird. They always said it was a hit because he had all his jewelry still on and like still had money in his pocket. So they that's what it was. Like guilty saying she ain't had nothing to do with it. She ain't killed. She loved her husband. Death is the only thing I have a soft spot for. Take that small interlude. Shout out to my nigga side. He came in, cut cut the PlayStation on, fucked up my uh, internet connection. I had to plug into my phone's internet because now it's saying that my house internet is limited. Um, Just like an Atlanta nigga, just come up here. Yeah, I hear doing them goofy ass yeah, dances. Them dances and the shit. Yeah, them blouses, the blouse culture. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I apologize to the fan, man. These last few weeks, we've been having some fucked up technical difficulties. Man. But we're just talking about Lorenzo Wright and his wife killing him. Yeah. And just, just expound on it, just in case you didn't get to hear it. Um, she was, killed him for some money. Yeah, for some money, for a million dollars. At the end of the day, she killed her husband, who would provide for the family, for a million dollars and blew the money in like six months. BMF. Yeah, blowing money fast. Like, she was just out there. Like I said, first purchase with a home, a couple hundred thousand, seventy thousand dollar Escalade, thirty thousand car, thirty thirty thousand dollar car here, fifty thousand dollar bearskin rug. You know they couldn't wait to put that in there. I bet she took naked pictures on that motherfucker. Like, like whoever wrote the story, shit. like I they like I look at this nigga here. Like, look, look, there they go. They buying rugs. They buying bears, and then a two hundred thousand dollar pool. I wonder what was exactly going on between them to where, like, two things. Like, maybe he wanted a million dollar insurance policy. Yeah, the million dollar insurance policy on this death. So, with the, like, I wonder, did he not have money outside of that? They say he ran into financial trouble after he, um, after he kind of, like, washed out the league, for lack of better terms. You know, he had these houses in California that was, like, he had, was forced to sell or foreclose on. So he kind of was kind of like downsizing, and she probably still wanted to live the life. And that probably, that probably could have been an argument in the household. She like, you know, you ain't taking me on trips to Cabo and Paris no more. And he probably like, look, bitch, we ain't got the money. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she, I looked, I read an article where she said that <laughs> <laughs> she treated him like the police. She said she heard him on the phone talk about he was going to make a deal. Yeah, talking about yeah, he was so out there trapping. Like so he act like he going to flip it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh. And this was how long was this? When did he get uh, killed? Like six, seven years ago. This she was tried years pushing ago. like he was out selling dope. Like you know, I heard he was. They tried to blame him like a local drug dealer, or whatever. Saying he killed him because he owed him some money or some shit like that. Whoever was involved in that shit with her, he was like a pastor or some shit, wasn't he? Wait a minute, they got the guy. Yeah. They, oh, it's the truth about to come out. Yeah, the truth is about to come uh, out. He's definitely gonna. Somebody's about to tell. So we gonna find out what really happened. But like I said, they call him and um. How how old are their kids now? I don't know. They probably that's the real victims or whatever. Yeah, because I said they of age now to where they, they hearing the stories and reading the stories. She had been on ESPN. Everybody watched ESPN. Yeah. So it's like you know, even if the kids don't, they teach them, right? So they walk in class and teachers come up, start hugging you, <laughs> and everybody looking like, oh, you didn't hear. You know what I'm saying, you know, I'm sorry they, you know what I'm saying, I don't want nobody to know, like, I'm sorry they arrested your mother. But hey, Kill LJ. Yeah. Your Jr. Yeah. Heard your mom kills your dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How's your next, little siblings doing? Next thing you know, he's crying too? like he. <laughs> next <laughs> you know, he's crying. Just want everybody to get along. But look, we got one more topic. We got to wrap this up. This yeah. is more personal. I'm yeah. shady. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties again. Um, yeah. Talking about this, we talk about. Albums that just came out Friday. I've been hating all weekend, Music. huh? This, nah, not really on this shit. Uh, Cause I'm down there in agreeance on the shit. Ninety percent of what the fuck you said. First off, what all albums came out that you listened to this weekend? Uh, I listened to that trash ass uh, Metro Boomin' and Big Shine. Terrible. 
That shit was terrible. Look, Atlanta beats. Look, he ready to uh, pop lock and shit now. What are they doing in two step? The bank hit bounce or some shit. Uh, what else came out? The Jeezy came out. And here's what I don't like about Jeezy's fans. Like, Trevor Die 3 was a terrible album. He had like two or three good songs. Pressure is good. Like, oh, Jeezy back. Like, well, if you compare it to his last album, it should. I mean, hell. It's a good album. Uh, then, uh, Jeezy, I listened to that shit. K. Michelle's pretty dope album. You listen to K. Michelle? Yeah, she can really sing. You can identify with her? Huh? I can't identify with her. I just like the music and shit. And then this trash ass album. You know why I can't listen to K. Michelle? Why? Because be saying her pussy stink. Uh, like, that's what uh, so Uncle that, Murder said in that wrap up. And he I just, did every, say that. Every time, every time I hear That's how you think about Every time I hear it, I'll be like, man, that singing bitch pussy stink. Uh, and it fucks with me. Like, it could probably smell like fucking Avon. Uh, <laughs> or yeah. Mary Kay, but I, I just can't get past that shit. I'm like, look at that stinking pussy bitch over there blowing. That's how I look at K Michelle now. I hate Damn. that I do. And then this last album, Revival. Okay, okay, hold on. And with this Jeezy, I watched that Jeezy interview on uh, Complex on yeah. Everyday Struggle. He Jeezy take himself too fucking serious. Yeah. Jeezy think he in the war zone, 1985, uh, California Bloods and Crips. He think he on colors. Yeah. He be talking that gangster shit, man. Nobody trying to hear that shit. But yeah. go ahead. He was just take like I think those are legitimate questions that Joe asked him. Like you know, no, what like, about your fans? Like you know, that's not your core fans that just maybe picked up Trap or Die Three and like damn, that's not no good shit or whatever. But once again, that's what happened. We got a bunch of yes men in the studio with you. Like everything. Oh man, that shit. Because they got if they tell them no, they got a fear of getting cut off. So, which brings me to Yes Man is this Eminem revival. This shit was terrible. He gonna sell 300,000 the first week. They're gonna go platinum because he has that core fan base. This was a terrible album. This shit was just terrible. And I have a buddy that defended it. I mean, up and down. And his name is Taurus, too. Like he called me on the phone because I, I tagged him in the picture. My name is Latours. His name is Latours too. But his name I just ain't Latours. Yes, yeah, both you yeah. His name ain't Latours. It's to say. No fucking Latours. It's to say. Get that nigga on the phone. It, he yeah, at work right now. I need to see his birth certificate, but that nigga name ain't Latours. Yeah, his name you is a regular ass Corey. I'm a regular ass Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this man dropped a 19 track album, a pure hot. Trash. I've been. I am an Eminem fan. Like you know, I. Oh, no, you not? I, I am. No, you not? I am. I just think he's the Peyton Manning of rap. Like, he's oh, very Hall good. Of Famer. Has, has a good skill set, but very, very overrated. Like they, they praise Peyton Manning for being in the weak ass AFC South. You don't, you don't do good in the NFL by winning your division. He always led that. Uh, Defense deficient team. Okay, he's deep into the uh, he's playoffs. thirteen and fourteen in the playoffs. But anyway, let's get back. To and the he got Super Bowl. I mean, and he got all the record. But go ahead. I mean, he should go Look ahead. ahead. <laughs> so Eminem dropped nineteen tracks. Shit was bullshit. So how many songs you like? One. Which one? Believe. I like offended. Offended is vintage Eminem. That shit is ridiculously yeah. hard. It was the only song I liked on the album. So you only like one song too. Yep. And you, and it's crazy. We went back and forth. You like, ah, oh, Eminem is spitting on this. I'm like, what the fuck is he this? So I went back and listened to it again. I said he spit on one fucking song. Oh, okay. I, I miss, never okay. said he spit I on I misheard one you. Okay. I barely can listen to this fucking song. Hey, that, I cussed out both tours. I, I was, only and I would listen to this. So my other buddy tours. He a fashionista. <laughs> I'm a fashionista. <laughs> so my other buddy tours called me like, oh, you fucking crazy. I'm like, man. I'm like this shit's trash. Oh, you not listening to it? Like shit, nigga, I listened to it two or three times. This shit, like, stop being a stand. And so, and then we were going back and forth about why well, I don't have it in my top ten. And you said I can't name ten better rappers that's better than Eminem. And I said I could, but you said the criteria is they had to have at least one classic album. Real quick though, real quick for anybody to say they like this Eminem album, you want to like it. Yeah, you have you you have to want to like it. Like you, it's something that you have you vested in. You don't want to say this shit. This shit is his worst album ever. I can't identify and he was, with a multi-millionaire white boy crying. Woke. Like, how are you here crying about the world? And you're white and you're rich. Police brutality. You talk about police brutality. And he doing that for song's sake. It's yeah. just to have a conscious song, man. 
Let's talk about chopping your fucking girlfriend up some shit. Matter of fact, I say one. He probably got a couple songs. Believe you, if you like, if he, I mean, believe is pretty decent. You're not gonna make me like what I don't, I don't like, man. Uh, who, who, what's the believe? That's it. Yeah, it's probably cool, man. But yeah. I'll probably listen to it again. But I don't feel like I. I was 19 songs. They all sound like fillers. They do. They it's it's like a bunch fucking, of fillers. Like, you know, you should ever be on a song with Beyonce. Fresher. Ed, Ed Sheeran. Pink. Alicia Keys. I can see the pink. That, uh, well, not it's probably their worst collab. Yeah. That Skylar Gray. I can see Skylar Gray because she's sh- signed to Shady. So Kalani. they don't know. They don't, it's don't trash. Think it's yeah. trash. But go ahead. You got to give me 10 rappers that are better than Eminem and they all have to have a classic album. Okay, so I'm... One, I'm gonna go Biggie. Okay, I, I can. Go. Two, J. Okay. Ice Cube. Okay. Scarface. No. You don't think Scarface is a better rapper than? Even? But yeah, but that's debatable. Yeah. Fuck it, I can't. Joe have Button. I'm, I'm I got Joe Button in my top three. Yeah. Blood. Okay. Uh, Nas. Yeah. Uh, where was I at? I had um, Rock Him. He not. He but not. since he's part he of the group. So I'm at six. And who else? I had this shit written down. Okay, who I stopped at? But um, nah, that's what's my last. Um, I said Ice Cube. You even you even said uh, it's kind of too soon for him. But I'm gonna throw Kendrick in there. He's a better rapper than him. He definitely has a classic album. I hear that argument. Okay, seven. Um, seven. Dmx, get the fuck out of here. You 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 reached. Go ahead. I you tried. It. You like- tried. <laughs> Seven, uh, damn. Maybe I'm just seven ahead. Though. It gets bleak. It, it gets, gets bleak. It gets, damn, it seven. gets bleak. And don't try to use Tupac. Don't try to jump on the Tupac bandwagon. So I, mean, but Tupac I know you, the, you haven't said you haven't said it. So no, I'm just saying. But you well, know I don't have Tupac in my top ten. I'm saying for anybody listening, then that's when you got to give me ten better than Tupac after that. Damn. But go ahead. You you ain't so but adamant. I still think you Tupac were so adamant been. saying that Eminem was not top ten. And you can name 10 people better. But I had, we're talking I about I had DMX on the show a couple times. And we're talking about the history of rap. So if you're in the top 10 of history of rap, you can't be called overrated. You can't be called overrated. I don't have And then the you want to talk 10. classic. He has at least two or three. Who? Eminem? Eminem. Yeah. So the how, first the fuck Marshall you Matters? how the fuck do you have three hold fucking classics? What's his classic? classics? Hold on. Slim hold on. Shady. Let me, hold Slim on. Shady and Marshall Mathers Encore. Encore. Encore was hard than a bitch. I don't know. I gave um Marsha Matters. Uh let's see. The Slim Shady, the Marsha Matters. Not the Eminem Show. Not uh The Eminem Show too. You mm. go in there looking through goddamn tracks. Okay, the Eminem <laughs> Show. Let me see what's on there. I got a track. Curtains up, White America, Business. Clean out my closet. Oh no, this is like a uh That shit was hard as fuck on this, I'm sorry, boom, Mama. Boom, boom. Okay, okay. Boom, I never boom, meant boom, to hurt boom, you. Boom, boom, boom. Soldier. Soldier was okay. Say goodbye, drips without me. No, that was a commercial shit. That's a commercial that's shit. shit Superman say. was cool. That Superman is hard than a yeah, big. yeah. I mean, that's one of the most player songs ever. Yeah. Uh, Haley song. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. That shit was hard. So I made like three songs off this album. You only like three songs off of it. Yeah, yeah. You trying not to like the rest of them? No, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at it because I'm looking at what I got on my phone. So I'm at. Uh, and I'm looking at the track list compared to what's on my phone. But uh, Soldier, uh, Clean Out My Closet, Superman, and the uh, Haley song. So four out of 20. Not, I'm not there. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, four out of 20, my So man. I definitely gonna go Marshall Matters LP, Eminem, uh, Slim Shady, the first one. It's uh, cool. Relapse, terrible. <laughs> Recovery was okay. I had three songs off of that. Uh, Martian Matters LP2. Nah, I'm not feeling it. But, uh, damn, I got stuck at seven. Like, I had a whole ten. Yeah, nigga, you didn't have But I did have Scarface. You wanted to have ten. I did have Scarface and DMX as a better rapper. He did make say no better rapper than him. You might like him better. And he has more classics. We might know he don't. He don't. He got two classics. His first two albums were his only classics. After that, he fell the entire... Three. Oh no! And then there were X. He got. I, yeah, I'm about to say. Know, I don't want to even say three. Uh, you know, I'm probably trying to. It's hate. dark as hell. hot. You got flesh in my flesh, blood in my blood. And then three. there was X. And then it was Eminem died. I mean, DMX died after that. They got all that money, started getting high and shit. Come here, babe. I still got DMX as a better rapper than. Uh, Use it because you have to try to get to your ten. So I understand. So that. that's eight. Uh, no, you still on seven. No, okay, DMX is eight. DMX is eight. 
Uh, damn, man. Let me look at my uh, iTunes playlist. Let me see artists. Um, better rappers, better rappers. Okay, maybe he is nine. I had eight better. You got Cameron. Cameron ain't got no classes. Like the ten better than him, gotta have a classic. He ain't got no fucking classes. He don't have no classics. He has no classes. Got a bunch of good music. You gotta understand, the song came in in that era. That's yeah. the first. That was his first rap album. E forty. Snoop. E forty. Snoop. 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 Snoop has one good album. But you his, said he had oh, the criteria to have at least one classic. That's the criteria to get in the conversation. But to stay in the conversation, Snoop does not have anything. Snoop cannot stay nowhere. Fabulous near. is a better rapper than Eminem. No, he's nowhere near. He's a punchline rapper. He's a punchline rapper. Fabulous is not in my top twenty. Fabulous is a punchline, and that's it. I said Ice Cube because he said one Ice time. Cube. But one time was a bad rapper. At one rapper point, he's the best rapper in the world. Yeah. Got Jay. Um, but, yeah. It ain't Tia. It ain't Tia. It ain't Tia. Tia's a better rapper. Tia ain't a little better yeah. rapper than him. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne ain't no fucking better rapper than him. And him, man, he's just reaching. Lil Wayne ain't Tia ain't either. Lupe. I think Lupe's a better rapper no, than him. No, nah, And he don't even have half of a classic. He don't have half of a classic. The cool? He don't have half of a classic. What? He don't have half of a classic. You don't think the cool is a classic? He don't have half of a classic. You fucking crazy. He don't have half of a classic. You, man. Go ahead, run it down. I'm about to, I'll tell you someone who got about three or four classic albums who ain't nowhere near that list. Who? Kanye. Kanye? But he's not. he don't write his own shit. I'm just saying classic I would have had, had Kanye on there if he wrote his own shit. So if you're not right here. Uh, food and Liquor. You don't think that's a classic? No. The cool. You don't think that's a classic? Run down the track list. Okay, let's see. Track list. Uh, Real with Sarah Green. Damn, now you can kill This might be okay. Kick Push, I Got You. Kick Push was what else? He Say, She Say. That shit How that shit go? No, you ain't got to play it. If it's a classic, you know it off the top. How it go? But it's like you you can nod your head to a beat, but that don't make it sunshine, a sunshine, daydreaming, the Man. cool pressure with Jay Z. No, you just trying American to make it. You're trying to make this kick the push too. Okay, you're trying to make then let's just go to the cool. So you're telling me the cool ain't uh, go ahead and hit the track list. Free Chili, Go Go Gadget Fo, the no, coolest no, no, superstar, no, no, Paris no. Tokyo, that's high definition. Horrible. What? That's superstar is horrible. Hip Hop Save My Life. Intruder, streets on fire. You just read, nigga. You just read. I'm skipping some shit. Dumb it down. Yeah, dumb it down. Probably one of the hardest songs nah. that come out that time. What? Lupe don't have a classic. You Lupe can like rap, Lupe. but Lupe don't have a classic. Like. So you don't think he's a better rapper than him? Well, you gotta have a classic. So he's. Nah, I don't think he's better. But if you just talking about a nigga, he can rap. He can rap his ass off, but he's not. Man, Eminem was extraordinary. His storytelling, his fucking. He has the best flow ever. Hands down, he has the best flow ever in hip hop. Mm. Who has a better flow than Eminem? Who has a better flow than Eminem? I'm not talking to you. Yeah, he's my this nigga said Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, he, he might as well get one of them goofy white bitches who's over there saying nigga shit in California. <laughs> Bad Bobby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That nigga uh, talking about Gwen Stefani. Ah, oh, man. Man, as far as the flow, man, listen. And I said he's not my number one rapper, but nobody has a better flow than Eminem. Nobody has ever rolled beats like Eminem. Never. It feel like he's sitting inside the beat. It seems like the beat in him is one when he rapping, when he's on his shit. Like, if you listen to that Offended, and then maybe like the last fucking ten bars of that fucking song, I listen to it. That's classic I listen to it. I said, is this motherfucker, did they speed this shit up? Like, I, I, I had to say, are they fucking cheating? Like, I could not, man, look, I'm going to play that shit like the last few bars of this shit. You claim if you get knocked by the cops, you'll get not even a state. ain't talking about shit, but it's classic Eminem, but the so flow. Somebody who on Reddit gay says we on Eminem. Uh-huh. Well, Damn, my dose. Damn, I'm gonna skip. Oh, a mountain. Yeah. Listen to this shit. Oh, a mountain to a mountain. It's rise too high to count it. Never asked to be rich. All I did was wish I had a dime for every time that I was doubted. But then I think about it and I'm enraged because I just figured out that if I was paid for the time I spent to put the pin to the page, it'd be minimum wage. But it's embedded in my head. I never hunted for the bread and butter. What I wanted was to be the one. They were scared, but I'm never gonna get the credit for the sweat and blood I put up in the minimum wage. Well, they put me on a pedestal. I forget I was living this credit. I guess I'm radical harder than ever because I never get another motherfucking opportunity again to offend as many people with this again simply because I can't nobody. This was not a conversation of who was Nobody doing what first. 
I'll say this song, you cheat. You could hear every fucking word he was saying on that shit. <coughs> you can't always understand what the fuck you should say. Bust him rap, 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 rap like that first. Tech 9 been rapping like this. I'm not saying, I'm not, I did not say that he was the only person who did I did not say that he was the only person to rap like this. First off, he changed the whole fucking argument. I did not say anything about him being an innovator of a style. I said the way he said that shit, the clarity. But what the way, well, listen, about? man, the what clarity. are you talking about? Have you ever recorded a rap song? Ah, uh, cause you got one rap. No, song no. You, Have you, you ever recorded a rap song? Nah. That shit he did right there is fucking gymnastics, and it's almost impossible for his breathing and technique. The way he chopped up, I'm telling you. I sat there and I tried to figure out, nigga. I tried to tell myself he cheated. I said, there's no way in the world he's chopping this shit up. I said, they had to do something digital to this fucking song. He might have some of the best double entendres and trivial. Like, he rhymes Listen, a lot of words then, together. He then, like Lux. No, he not. He rhymes a lot Lux, of words Lux together Lux shit. deep shit. Lux shit go over a lot of them over here. Eminem says some of the weakest fucking metaphors I ever heard him say on this album. He says some his similes. He's been like that every album. No, he yes, it, he has. It's always flow way the fuck better. Man. This shit look like I'm gonna tell you what this shit kind of look like. I won't go as far as saying Patrick you and Sonics, but this was clearly Jordan and Wizards. This is Jordan. It wasn't Pippin t- with the Rockets. Yeah, yeah. that's Chicago Pippin with the nah, Rockets. Because Wizards never been the greatest. Pippin has never been in the greatest argument. Eminem has been in the argument. One of the fifty greatest players I of said all time. He's never been. You never thought he's one. He's the best. Ever. I always thought you were the best small I'm not, forward I'm not, to ever play. I'm not play. talking about position. I'm talking about the best player. Ah, okay, okay. We've never looked at Pippen like that. Whether you like it or not, we've looked at Eminem like, is he the no, best No, you rapper looked ever? at The Eminem. majority of people have looked at him. Rappers have looked at him like this. Or is he the best ever? He's in that conversation. Anytime there's an all-time great rapper conversation, Eminem is subject to appear in this. I must be in Scotty Pippen never appears in the best basketball. Co- he's a, he one of the best players in Chicago Bulls history. That's Pippen. He's the best small forward. That's Pippen. He don't transcend anything past that. I ain't never been in a conversation with him. So I mean, that's how you and the other tours that got listen, Eminem as the best you, rapper. You just tried uh, to say he won in the top ten. I, so he's still not in the top ten. You yes, you put X in there. You you put X in there, but then after I that, put you, Rock Kim in there, he said I can't put him in there either. Man, you can't. Nine. That's nine. Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. So and he, and he, if you add my DMX, my Rock Kim, that's and nine. Shut it down, man. And Kendrick, you gave me Kendrick, so that's ten. You already had Kendrick in there, so you can't put you can't put Kendrick. I got nine. You can't put Kendrick and K Doc in the same top ten. You can't put the same people. But look, that's like Shock G. Listen, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test you. Name five Rock Kim songs. Eric B for president, um, microphone fiend. I just think what up? I got a large catalog. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. So you just spewing shit, nigga. So that mean, uh, you just spewing so shit. You said that's not two songs. Well, you can't give two songs called that nigga better. And Rakim has a nice app. Uh, Check out, my this, check out my Rakim melody. Check out my melody. Eric B for shit. president. Uh, <laughs> microphone fiend. That's three. Uh, that's a hard thing right Look, now. You know how much music I done consumed in my life? Another fantastic show. He could name 10 people better I named, than Eminem. I named 10. But he said I, I that Eminem was not in the top 10. He's not. And I'm okay with that. Eminem has a trash album he just put out. He should be ashamed of himself. But he's like 46. We can't expect too much. He's only going against Eminem. When Jay-Z put out an album, he's only going against Jay-Z. When Nas puts out an album, although I did compare Eminem and Jay-Z right now because they're around the same age and they come from the same era, and, and Jay-Z is 444 shits on this. Boy. But again, another fantastic show. I apologize for Assad. Uh, yeah, it kind of fucked Thanks to everybody who tuned in. He's over there getting slaughtered and mad, and deservedly so. It's from he's, the blouse probably, culture. He over there throwing he came up from the blouse culture. Ever since he got that afro, he's been acting different. Ever since he got eliminated from the fantasy football, he's been acting different. Then he had Mark Ingram and got blasted uh, Sunday. Anyway. You can hear. Damn. I have Mark Ingram. <laughs> Anything you want to say in closing, man? Man, thanks for listening. Uh, ladies, I won't be here next week. Uh, <laughs> I won't be here next week for the show, so, you know, won't be able to bless y'all speakers. <laughs> With my voice. But I'll be back the week after that. Going on vacation. Going to New Orleans. See my family for Christmas. And that's about it. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Still tune in next week. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be back in two weeks.
We'll see y'all, man. Uh, shout out to everybody who always rock with us, listening and stuff. Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all next week. I'm on the fence. If I get somebody come here and co-host with me, I'm gonna run it. Uh-huh. If I don't, we'll be off next week. I tentatively got somebody supposed to come in here, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll get a side to pull up a chair. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm having my homeboy side pull up a chair up here, uh, kick you with me. But you we'll see. Y'all. Like the ex brothers. What's that? Hell no, so I got way more sense than them. Uh, I tell people outside, it's one of the smartest people I know and shit, so I can't just uh, brutalize him like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> he, 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 got, he got a little mental gymnastics here. He would just uh, get up here and start breakdancing or some shit, throw me off, confuse the fuck out of me. Uh-huh. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We'll see y'all next week. Peace.